In this video, we'll learn how to use the CapCut video editor on your PC. You don't need a high-end PC, so if you have an older PC with a low-end graphic card, you can still make this work as long as you have a solid internet speed because you'll be doing all the work online on their website. So yeah, it is possible you can edit videos using their website itself and it works great. Trust me on that. I'll be editing a video from start to scratch. And while I do so, I'll be using their interface and you guys would be learning. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. Let's now go to my screen and learn to use the CapCut video editor on your PC. Let's begin. To start with, first of all, open up your browser and go to CapCut.com. C-A-P-C-U-T dot com it'll take you to the CapCut website this is a website you guys can see that there's an option to get started for free or download for windows you don't need to download as i mentioned in the beginning you can use this platform on their website as well you have a couple of options to log in or sign up on the top right corner so i'm going to log in because i do have an account already if you don't have an account you can sign up first you can use any google account to sign up after you sign in if you were working on a project it is going to display on the main page it is asking you to create a project what type of a video you want to make. So you can go with the blank canvas or you can go with the TikTok template. These are the templates that are available. TikTok, TikTok ads, YouTube ads, Instagram stories, etc. Let's say we want to go with a YouTube video, right? So I'll click on YouTube ad. It'll take some time to load. After that, you guys can see that this is the main interface where it would be working. You guys must be familiar with these options if you've ever used editing softwares like Premiere Pro, but you don't need to worry. I'll explain all of these options to you guys. On the left side, you guys can see media, stock, videos, audio, text, stickers, effects, transitions, filters, library. We're going to use all of these options. You do have an option to upload your own footage and that you want to edit, right? So I'm going to either, you can either drag and drop the footage from your computer or just click on this. It'll ask you to upload your footage. Let me go ahead and choose the footage that I want to upload. So now our video is uploaded. To add this video to our timeline, I would click on the plus button. It adds my video to the timeline. I can move the playhead. Now let's say if I want to add a jump cut to this video, I'll go ahead and first of all, let's increase, let's zoom out the timeline a bit. So I've just zoomed the timeline out a little bit. Now if I want to add a jump cut, let's just play the video for a second. So we're playing the video right now. If I want to add a jump cut here, let's say, I would simply click on the split button or I can press Control B on my keyboard and it adds a jump cut. So it splits the video into two different parts. This is the first part and this is the second part. Now, let's say if I want to add a transition between these two jump cuts, I would go into transitions on the left side. And let's say if I want to add this particular transition, I would just go on the transition and click on the plus button. It adds that transition. Now I can choose to increase or decrease the duration of this transition. Now, if we play the video just to see how the transition looks, I think I need to increase the duration a little bit. Okay, so let's just increase the duration and see. That's how it looks now. Okay, so we've just added a transition. We've learned the jump cut. We've learned how to add transitions. Now let's go ahead and add a stock footage before our video starts. So let's say if I want to add this stock footage before my video starts, I can just click on the plus button and it adds this footage before the start of my video. It's a two second footage. So let's just play to see how it looks. Okay, now we do have the audio next to the clip. If we want to mute, we just click mute and it'll mute the audio. So you wouldn't hear any audio, the video. Let's just see that this footage that you see on the screen here, it's not fitting the canvas, right? And if we want to increase the size of this so that it fits the canvas, on the top right corner here, you have the size option under position and size. So you can increase the size from here and it'll fit the screen. So now it fits the screen. So if we play it back just for a moment, you guys can see it fits the screen now. Now let's say if you want to add audio to this, right? We have the option to add audio from here or we can upload our own audio as we did by using the media option and uploading our audio from here. But we can add audio from here as well. So let's just say if I want to add this audio, right? I will just click the plus button and it's going to add this audio track next to my video. So my video's original audio is muted because I've just muted that and the song is going to play as background music. Now let's just go ahead and delete this for a moment. In order to delete anything, you just need to click on that particular clip on the timeline and just 
press the delete button. We have the text option as well. So let's say if we want to add text anywhere on the video, just move the playhead to where you want to add the text and then click on the text option. You have these fonts available. There are multiple different types of fonts available. So let's say if we want to add this particular text or this particular font, just click on the plus button and it'll add the font here. And then you can move the text on the screen the way you want to. If you want to make changes to the text on the top right corner where it says text, just double click on this and just type in anything. Taking advantage of that, I would just type subscribe. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do consider subscribing. It helps me and motivates me to bring more and more good content for you guys. Now you can change the color of this as well. So you have the option to change the colors. So to change the color, you cannot use custom fonts. You need to use one of these fonts that are available here on the screen. So I've just changed the font and it let me change the color. And if I want to make it italic or bold, I can do that as I mentioned already. Let's just play the video back and see how our text looks. It's, it's good. But there's no transition here so let's just say that I want to animate the text right because right now it's very boring if I want to animate I'll just click on the text and on the top right corner I have the option to animate it so I can add fade in or maybe this so so you can like you have different options so you can add fade in so if you choose fade in it's going to fade in and you can do the same thing with fade out Right, so let's just select, go to animation again, go to out and fade out. Now let's just play it back. So the text fades in and then it fades out. If we want to add stickers, let's say to our video, right? So we can go to the stickers option and choose a sticker and we can just add it, add it. And if we want to, let's say, decrease the duration of this, we can do that from here. So let's just decrease the duration of this. So the sticker appears here. And by double clicking on the sticker, you can reduce the size of it or increase the size. And you can move it on the screen, just like that. So let's just say our video is playing and the sticker is going to display. I think I need to increase the duration. That's too short. <laughs> okay, so, okay, that's how it looks now. And let's just go ahead and add a few effects. So let's say if I want to add effects to this particular clip, I can add effects. I can add a rippling effect here. Let's see what happens. So as the clip is playing, there's this effect that's just playing on the screen. Very useful for TikTok videos, not much for YouTube videos. I think YouTube audience doesn't like these effects. I don't know why. <laughs> I have the filters option as well. So if I want to add filters to any of my clips, I can go ahead and do that. So let's just go ahead and add photo booth. I can add photo booth and it adds it to my video. Let's just go ahead and play this. You guys can see it just added that effect to that particular clip. If I want to increase it to the entire length of my video, I can do that or decrease it to a particular clip. I can do that. Let's just go ahead and delete this for now. And in the library, as I said earlier, you have the option to add GIFs. So you have the GIFI option, just click on this and search for, let's say, happy face. So happy face and search for it. It is going to display all the happy faces in the world, right? So let's just go ahead and add the rock. So while our video is playing, you're going to see the happy face of the rock and then our video is going to continue. If you want to export this video, all we need to do is click on the export button on the top right corner and it is going to ask you for the resolution that you want to export it to and you can go up to 4k you can choose 1080p 2k or 4k so let's just say if i want to choose 1080p and it is asking me for the quality recommended quality high quality fast exporting you can choose between these options it depends on your internet speed so if you choose high quality, it's going to take you more time If you go with recommended quality. It's going to be a balance between quality and the duration that it takes. You can choose the frame rate so you can choose from 24 up to 60 FPS format. You can choose between MP4 or MOV and duration. You cannot change it. Once you click the export button, it is going to export your video. Let's just click on the export button. It is currently exporting our video. 
it is telling us that it is exporting our video right now one thing that you need to make sure that you don't close the browser so this is the video that we just created using the CapCut online video editor now you guys can see the quality is looking pretty good now to download this video clip you need to go on the top right corner and click on the download button and it is going to download this video onto your computer that's how easy it is to edit your videos using CapCut. You don't need to download or use Premiere Pro or pay for the subscription. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.